I have to implement this truth table using uh, 2 4 4 by 1 multiplexer and I can use external gates additional gates as well so I will do that first I will just draw the multiplexers 4 over 1 so it has just they will have two select pins and four inputs and then just output of each of them so yeah like that 4 over 1 marks so in order to do that I will I have in total 8 inputs so I will first divide this whole thing so here I have something I will apply the select the select this is select 1 select 0 s1 is 0 so I will apply C and D in to the selects and then I will join this to output and connect it to the input of an OR gate and here I will get the final output now looking at this portion I as we know that multiplexers do have enables and I am assuming that here the enable is active high so these two enable I will join the I will use a another color so assuming that the enable is active high I will join A to the enable so this one means A is being inverted here so when A is 0 this is getting 1 here so this first multiplexer will be enabled when A is 0 and since this is connected here this is getting 0 here so this is disabled the second one is disabled for the for this condition only this one is enabled and this one the second one is disabled because it's 0 and here it is 1 okay then what I will do I will look in this first part look this part and this part and I will see how I can relate the output with B if I can relate anything so I will look at the first one zero zero means this one because I am assuming that this is I zero this is I one I two I three so like that going downwards uh, the multiplexer inputs I mean so when I look at this one and this one here I see the outputs are this is one here and this is zero so it's changing so this is one when B is zero and when B is one this is zero that means it has to be B bar now look at the second one this one and this one I'm seeing that it's zero in both cases so I apply zero here third one this one and this one when this is one when B is zero this is one when B is one this is zero so I will apply again B bar because whatever is B is inverted here and then it will go to the output the other thing about connecting OR gate here when the one of the marks is disabled say for this one since these are all active high the output is a zero so whatever is coming here will go here so if it is one here it will be one here if it is zero here this is zero here so that's the that's why we are using an OR gate so when this one is disabled when this one is disabled this one is working so whatever is here will go here and when this one is disabled this one whatever is here will go there like just like that so yeah okay so moving on the look at the last one this one which is one here when b is 0 and 0 here when b is 1 so again this will be b bar now I will look at this part the second one this one and this one because a is becoming 1 here and when a is becoming 1 here this is getting 0 here and so this is disabled and this is getting 1 here so this is enabled now whatever inputs are here for the last 8 
this will go here and this will come zero here so this will go here whatever is there and this one whatever is here will go to the output so looking again this part the first one and if I look here because this is zero 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 so this one is one this one is zero so when b is zero this is one again b bar and when b is one this is zero second one is zero and one this is one here this is also this is zero here so when b is zero this is becoming one and when b is one this is becoming zero so b bar again looking at the third one one here and zero here so once again when b is zero this is becoming one when b is one it's becoming zero so again b bar and looking at the last one which is this one this one when b is zero this is becoming zero when b is one it's becoming b one so it is it has to be b here so this is the connection i will have to have to implement this whole truth table and yeah